heavy rain can be a concern for you if and when you have to drive somewhere. Our Abigail Martin spent the day in that truck called Thunder monitoring the roads and conditions. She joins us live now. Abigail, tell us about your day. Greg, it was an interesting day, full of on and off rainfall, and I told you earlier I kept jinxing myself, so I won't say anything before I run back inside. Um, but, you know, with the, with the rain, it's also coming on top of the melting that's happening from the snow and ice, which can be, a can be a concern for some flash flooding. So if you have to go out and drive, be sure you're staying vigilant and that you have a plan. Turn around and don't drown. And there's a reason for that. I mean, driving through flooded streets, People don't realize that cars can be swept away so easily uh, in only two feet of water. Amy Maxwell with Hamilton County's Office of Emergency Management says your vehicle can easily be trapped in flooded waters with you in it. That puts first responders at risk too by driving through those flooded roads. Uh, we put those people in danger as well. Maxwell says you don't know the depth of the water, if there's debris, or how quickly the water is moving. She says to look for alternative routes, even if it means taking a few more minutes to get to your destination. You know, you're going to get additional water from the snow and the ice that's melting as well. Maxwell says to plan ahead. Just get to your final destination safely. Leave yourself plenty of time because we do have a tendency to get flash flooding as we have seen over here in Hamilton County many, many, many times. First responders have been busy battling the wintry conditions of last week. Maxwell says now they are aware of the flooding risk and she says first responders are ready in case of an emergency. We want everybody to arrive safely, whether it's ice, snow, rain, flooded waters. It it's all depends on how, how well you want to prepare yourself. If you are driving and you can't see anything because of those standing waters, remember that phrase, turn around, don't drown. And that's going to be so important. So I told you I wasn't going to jinx myself. Right now, it's not raining here in Chattanooga. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it within the next few minutes. And I know that David Carnes is going to keep us up to date on that. But for now, reporting live in Chattanooga in the dry conditions. I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News. Abigail.